Welcome back to the studio. Today we're going to be showing you how to assemble the industrial chain table from Osborne Wood Products. We're also going to take you through all that comes in the kit. So stay tuned for some tips and tricks and we'll be right back. Now this kit is really easy to put together. It comes almost halfway assembled out of the box. All we have to do is add our legs and then our cross brace pieces in the middle. The dimensions for our top on this kit are 20 inches by 65 inches. Now this kit will come unfinished. We went ahead and added uh, the stain of our choice. It will come unfinished in either rubber wood or hard maple on our website, depending on your preference. Now with your kit, you're gonna get four of the metal chain legs. You're also gonna get two of the cross braces that will go in the middle. You're gonna get a bottom stretcher, your tabletop, and then all of the necessary attachment hardware so you can completely assemble this kit upon arrival. You're also gonna get a set of instructions that'll take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to assemble this. So let's go ahead and jump into the first step on this table. So I found the best place to start with this table is to start with the top facing down. So we're gonna go ahead and attach the legs to our top first, and then we'll just add our stretcher on top of those legs. You can see we've got a number of bolts, washers, and nut, as well as an Allen key for installation, and then a small wrench. Now the hardware assembly for the bottom of your top to your leg is going to be one of the bolts, one of the small lock washers, and then one of the small washers. After you have that ready, we're just going to place the leg on the installed threaded insert there in the top. All we have to do is install that bolt with that washer assembly. Now I'm going to take my supplied Allen wrench and just tighten that down until that lock washer is completely crushed. Now that we have our legs installed to the bottom of our top, we're gonna to go ahead and add our stretcher board. Now we're gonna flip this upside down and then just slide it onto the pre-drilled holes. Just like so. We're gonna first add a large washer, then a large lock washer, and then a nut. And that will be the full assembly of hardware for this stretcher board. I'm gonna do that on all four corners and then we'll go ahead and snug everything down. Now for our two cross braces, what we're gonna do is hook into the installed hook and then we're gonna come down here and you wanna make sure that you let out enough slack on each side so that the threads are evenly spaced. There we go. And then we'll just keep tightening this center section here until we're snug, uh, but not too tight. You don't want it to put stress on the outside of your legs. Then we'll take our other bar and hook it to our bottom stretcher. And then we'll just take those center pieces and snug them down until we've got a nice snug fit. Now we've got a nice and evenly spaced cross section here. Our table is complete. Let's go ahead and flip it over and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, so our table is completely assembled and ready to go. It was a super easy process to get this assembled. And you saw everything comes in the kit you need to do this in your own home. And this kit is great for a little entryway table or even just a small dining table, depending on the size uh, space you have. If you're interested in picking up this table, I'll leave a link in the description. Pick up a kit for yourself. It comes in either rubber wood or hard maple, and it will be completely unfinished, so you can customize it exactly how you desire. If you're interested in more videos from the Builder Studio, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any ideas for future builds and we'll see you next time in the builder studio.